Hey guys, it's Luke. Well, it seems to be a stop-start thing with these vlogs. As soon as I think I'm about to start up again, something always comes along that puts it on the back burner and, well, that's what's happening here again. So after this one, the next vlog uh, won't actually be up again until December. So yeah, because I'll be taking November off to basically solely focus on my work, my health, and so I'm just basically will be off social media for the entirety of November. You can still message me, those who message me on, you know, Facebook Messenger or Instagram Messenger, it's just, I will not be looking at any reels, any stories, like if there's a message, I'll look at it. Other than that, um, no. And if the weather is anything like I hope it's gonna be, there'll be some adventures, like even where I live now, there's plenty of things to see and do, so, There'll be plenty of adventures on the way as, as, as the weather warms up for the Australian summer. And of course the silly season, so what Christmas is like here in Adelaide. So look forward to those coming up in December. And so as this will be the last vlog for some time, and it's probably been the only real vlog other than the Ask Me Anything, which is now offline that I did back in April, I figured I'd just do a recap of the year so far for me, just for those who are interested who like to keep up with my day to day. So this will be up for a few weeks. I've decided like all these personal vlogs, as I've said before in some of my other vlogs, these vlogs are really just for me to look back on. So for those who are interested, I will keep this vlog up for about three weeks and then I'll basically private it. Eventually I can look back at it. Many years ago, I made the dreadful mistake of deleting all my thousands of YouTube videos and of course as luck would have it hard drives do fail and I lost 99.9998% of all those vlogs I only had about three left three or four and a bit of raw footage from some of them um, which was corrupt because tapes man <laughs> that's what I used to record on DV tapes and so I never really kept them as well. So as I'm saying, sorry, let me get back to the point. And I'm sorry if the audio is pretty bad. It's, as you can probably see with the tree behind me, it is windy here. That is the only problem living next to a harbour and wanting to vlog in a nice spot. Um, <laughs> well, it's shady and that sort of thing. And you've got a nice view of the old, the old mill there behind me. Um, but yeah, so back to my point I will be taking this video down in a few weeks and then um, yeah I am a bit rusty as I haven't been in front of the camera for a while so I do have my notes on the phone so if I look down and I'm I'm reading that is why so uh, yeah well <laughs> obviously I guess where to begin the year is it's not really a question the year starts in January <laughs> so in January that was a very uh, emotional month for many reasons. Mostly because of finishing the Disney program. Yeah, tonight was actually a pretty good last night as far as last nights go. It's just weird. It's weird that I'm, I'm entering into a year where I actually have no idea what is ahead? Like I at least knew where I would be this year. I may not have known what I was doing, um, but I knew I would be, I, I, I knew who I'd be working for. Whereas this year, this year is completely into the unknown. Simon had come over just before New Year's and then, oh my goodness, I wouldn't have been able to do half the stuff, like half the packing and all that sort of stuff, if it weren't for Simon. I had so much crap with me, and I'm so sorry, Simon, that we wasted so much time just me packing. That's not, that wasn't my intention at all. I kind of underestimated the amount of stuff that I had with me. I mean, a lot of it I've, I've still have now, but overall, a lot of that stuff I could have probably just thrown out or donated. But yeah, instead I packed it in the box and spent thousands of dollars shipping it back here and putting it in storage. So yeah, with Simon, we then uh, went traveling around the United States. And for those watching this vlog, I just want to thank you for watching. 
I appreciate you guys' comments and your encouragement on my travels. Wow, New York man. And there's the Empire State Building. Sands giant ape on the top, unfortunately. Checked out Salt Lake City, then we went for a drive through Moab, checked out the Arches National Park. I really should uh, hike in sub-zero temperatures more often because right now, if I was back home, I would be so sweaty and destroyed right now. Whereas here, I'm just, I'm cruising. It is so cool. And look at that arch. That is magnificent. We went to Navajo Nation and checked out Monument Valley there. Um, then we went into Arizona, stated Flagstaff for a night, and then we headed to Cathedral Rock, and then, wow, from Cathedral, oh, Cathedral Rock was incredible. And then from Cathedral Rock, we went up to Grand Canyon. Oh my goodness, that too was incredible. And then from there, um, we headed to Nevada, to Las Vegas, and we also checked out some of the National Park in there. We did like a little round trip out and back into the city and then we went straight back up to into utah visited zion national park which i think to this day is probably at the moment oh actually that's not true it's my second favorite place first favorite place after that um is huntsville in utah just a beautiful small town on a lake it's like honestly Every time I think of living in a small town USA village, it's that place. That's the place that I have in my memory. And just being, finding that place just on a random drive one day, it was just spectacular. I was, yeah, I was there. I was in love. Um, so yeah, there's that. Um, and then I arrived home in February. Um, yeah it was it was quiet i really didn't know what to do with myself within the first week i was beginning to crack um, i missed being in america so badly um, and by the middle of february my depression had really taken hold um, it was i wasn't in a very good uh, mental space you could say Valentine's Day. I think I completely lost the plot for reasons. That wasn't fun for everyone who was around me at the time. So I do apologize for that. Um, or even those who weren't around me at the time and ended up getting the brunt of that. In February, I'd applied for a whole bunch of jobs. One of which I never thought I'd get because of the pay anyway, but I applied. And a few other jobs were for jobs that I had promised myself that I would never go back to, such as, you know, cleaning, <laughs> retail, and food hospitality. So yeah, but I was, I was desperate to, uh, to get something, to get anything, just to get out of the house and, you know, uh, be productive. So yeah, at the end of February, I then headed off to Singapore, which, Wow, Singapore. I mean, even just landing at that airport was insane. I did lose the plot in February, but it was actually while I was here, I think, that I kind of realized how bad of a shape I was in mentally. Um, I was in a place that I had wanted to visit for ages, yet I couldn't uh, seem to get myself out there and explore. I was probably there, I think, for a week, and really, I probably only left out of seven days, I probably only left uh, the confines, I guess, of the uh, of the apart uh, of the apartment complex four days. And even then, like it wasn't even for the whole day; it was maybe just for an evening with the family or something like that. Um, for my birthday, I went to Universal Studios there, and that was it is a tiny, tiny park, but my goodness, they managed to cram so much good stuff in there. The Battlestar Galactica roller coaster beautiful both sides I mean obviously the Cylon is much better than the human but uh, that was cool and then of course the mummy the mummy ride was pretty cool there too and they have Waterworld so 
yay, my favorite campy stunt show. I love Waterworld. So yeah, adventuring with the family and that sort of thing. Usually every country I go to, I always try to visit a zoo. Like I've always wanted to visit the Singapore Zoo in the nighttime safari park, but I didn't do that because I just, I just couldn't bring myself to doing it. So yeah, and other things just started creeping in that I realized that I actually had to do something. So when I got back home, I quietly started seeing a therapist. And now, recently, especially at work, I've uh, decided to uh, see a psychologist again, just to check over some things and make sure that that's uh, going all good as well. So um, seeing them mixed with church has definitely been a saving grace this year, which uh, then brings us to April. Oh, <laughs> April. Um, April was a mixed bag of emotions. <laughs> the, the main roller coaster of that month was being told that I wouldn't be able to work for Disney again. And then just a couple of weeks later going, oh yeah, sorry about that. You're fine. You can, you can work. It's fine. So that was, that was a roller coaster in the because I still dream of uh, living in the States. Um, yeah, like I, I want to go back to the States and I do definitely living there if I can is, is definitely on my on my bucket list. Like a year just showed me that it is a place that I definitely do feel at home. Other times the most I, uh, before then I'd spent in the US was probably five months. And then after that it was like three week holidays here and there. But spending a whole year there definitely showed me that it is definitely the place that I do feel the most at home. Everything makes sense to me there uh, except for a few things some things were cleared up for me by the people there uh, which is amazing um, but I still don't like their political system um, gun control doesn't really worry me that much anymore I mean it is pretty stupid but just common sense I hadn't heard back from a job interview which I had was a, which was a little sad I was rejected by JB Hi-Fi, uh, which is like Australia's version of Best Buy, but yet the next day I was accepted by Apple, yet eventually when it was time to recruit there were no positions because uh, they realized that they already had the numbers that they wanted to, so at the moment I have I think for another six months, which I don't think will happen, but uh, for another six months I can, if I see anything on the website that I want to apply for, I've basically skipped the recruitment process. I'm just then into the uh, into the candidacy uh, side of things. So, yeah. So if I find anything that I want to do in that company, I've definitely got that little shortcut there. So yeah, April was just another month of waiting for life to begin back in Australia. So yeah, there's that. Brings us to May. What a complete blur. I had so many job interviews in May for so many different roles, so many different positions, and so many different levels of uh, leadership and just general boffin work. Two of which of these jobs were for the Walt Disney Studios in Sydney. One of them they decided to just hire internally. The other one I was uh, second choice. Um, I got a really good feedback from that interview, which actually gave me confidence for, for any future interviews that I may have had. Apparently I interview very well. But the only reason that I didn't get that job is because the other candidate was already in Sydney and they did want to start that role as soon as they could. So it was a tough decision for them to make, but unfortunately I did not get that job there. And that was actually with, uh, with Lucasfilm, uh, sorry, Industrial Light and Magic. And then for a job that I applied for in February, I heard nothing, nothing back, and I was then offered that job, the really nice paying job that I never thought I would actually get, um, I got. So yeah, it took them two months to get back to me for an interview, and then it took me another month to actually start that job. So basically from, from like the uh, middle of Middle of May to the end of June, I was just waiting to, to start this job. Then we come to June. So over May and the end of April, I'd, I'd, I'd built up a fair bit of confidence in myself, which was good. It was this month that I actually started quietly dating again. Though, you know, much like pregnancy, how uh, women or couples don't necessarily tell people that they're pregnant till the three month mark, I usually don't talk about it now 
until I actually know it's a thing. So yeah, I don't want to make a thing out of it until it's actually a thing. Um, which in this case was a good thing. I gave it a couple of goes uh, with a couple of different women over the last couple of months, but um, yeah, they were, they were amazing people. They really were. Um, I enjoyed their company, but uh, it's just emotionally, I was still somewhere else. I was still with someone else. And I didn't think that was fair on them. So I've taken another pause again for now and just giving myself a bit more time to either just learn to live with it or get over it. But yeah, so I'm really not sure what to do. As I told Lady Freeze when I put her plug, this is a one woman show. Um, so yeah, I'm, if I can't give someone my complete uh, emotional availability, I it's not fair. And that's where I'm at with that. So then I finally started the job. And well, straight off the bat, it bored me. It bored me to the point where I actually started falling asleep during training. Now though, I'm, I'm starting to get into the groove of it. I am kind of enjoying it. As I know, like now I'm, I'm making a positive difference in people's lives and helping some people of, of which they're at like the most vulnerable moments in life. Um, so yeah, it's definitely an eye-opener. It, it definitely makes me realize how incredibly blessed. I know, hashtag blessed guys, thank you. It just makes me realize how incredibly blessed I am to be living the life I am, to have the people around me that I have around me. So honestly, thank you for that. And then July, July we left training and, and went to the, the full-time employment mode. And here I realize I'm not made to be, uh, spend a lot of time in an office environment or on my butt. So I kind of forgot Oh yeah, yeah, that's another thing. I kind of forgot I had severe anxiety. <laughs> uh, so getting a job, jo getting a job, getting a job where the primary uh, role is to talk to random people without knowing what their situation is beforehand um, probably wasn't the best idea. So my health began to take a bit of a dive. I uh, started getting anxiety migraines and generally my anxiety just started going off the charts um which uh with the help of a medical practitioner and the holy ghost and such supportive people around me both at work and at church i was able to forge forward and, and come out the other end mostly unscathed and so yeah Thank you for your input. Yeah, so August was all about now getting into the groove of a work-life balance and uh, getting into a routine, getting used to waking up early again, uh, which I hadn't done for, what, more than six months at that point, and basically having to stick to a rigid structure throughout the day, which I hadn't had to do since, well, in fact, none of my jobs till that point actually had such a a rigid stru structure. Actually, that's not true. Another call center I work for, uh, Internode, they were pretty, uh, yeah, strict with their their, uh, their schedules. So that that's almost a lie there. So I also went on my last date of the year in August. Um, she was cool. And yeah, but yeah, nothing, again, as I said before, nothing came of that. So I kind of thought I was ready to get back out there, but apparently not. So it was also this month where I knew, you know, considering what the housing market is like in Adelaide, uh, I really then started to look for a place of my own. I love my mum dearly, but I did need my own space, my own things. I mean, we we're both starting to get used to being with each other, uh, having each other around, which is great. But yeah, I just, I realized that I did need my own space. I needed my own, my own spaces, my own quiet time, places to put things, that sort of thing. So yeah, I seriously started to look for a place of my own. And in September, uh, just as I had given up, like rejection after rejection after rejection, I saw this final, well, not the final, I saw this uh, ad for an inspection on a day. So I was homesick uh, with a migraine. But I'm one of those people that just can't do nothing when I'm at homesick. Even when I de have a debilitating migraine, I'm like, yeah, I need to do this. I was looking and I saw an inspection for that day for a place in a suburb, Port Adelaide, which is one of the places that I've pretty much wanted to live as well. In fact, I almost got a place here a while back. But uh, as soon as I saw this place, I don't know how to explain it, but 
I knew it was mine. Um, yeah, I, I knew it was mine. I, I spent the longest time looking at every nook and cranny, just imagining, you know, things to go there, that sort of thing, uh, what I could do with this space. And most importantly, it had a power outlet on the balcony. Um, <laughs> I know that sounds silly to some people, but that's a big thing for me. I need an outdoor uh, power socket on a balcony, and that's what this one had. So, <laughs> the small things excite me. <laughs> I walked into that one. Um, and as it would happen, a couple of days after the inspection, I got a call and told that I was successful in getting that townhouse. Um, I knew it. I knew it. Um, kind of a cheat code there with the Holy Ghost saying, yeah, Luke, you can have this one. And I do appreciate it. Although it does cost me half my paycheck, it's still um, actually a little bit more than half my paycheck. Taxable income, not gross income. It's definitely worth it for the peace of mind and serenity that I have now. And so that basically brings us to now. Here I have been at this beautiful, beautiful town called Port Adelaide where I'm on the, f for the first time in forever, I'm by myself, like literally. Everywhere I have lived before now, I have always had someone with me, whether it be family, a partner, a roommate, has always been someone with me. I've never had my own space. So at first it was a little too quiet, being left again to my own thoughts, but now I actually relish the piece. I've been discovering who I am again, which has been fantastic. I've been starting to do things that uh, bring me peace and happiness again, which is great. And I'm starting to take myself out on dates now, which is <laughs> which has been fun. Um, so the first one of which I, I posted on Instagram, I, I took myself to, to Schnitthaus and had a nice romantic meal with myself. Oh, that was good. Um, and yeah, I'm really starting to enjoy my own company, which is signs that things are mentally progressing, which is good. Um, six, seven months ago, I would dread the thought of being left in a quiet room by myself. Um, <laughs> whereas now I, I relish it. I enjoy it so much. So yeah, these uh, last couple of months have just been uh, settling into a new routine in a new town and um, just loving life. So it's been great. So when the vlogs come back in December, hopefully the place will be set up enough for me to show you around a couple of rooms. I mean, my office is pretty much done because in a few weeks, hopefully I'll be starting to work from home a, a few days a week, but the rest of it still needs a little work. Being a rental, I still need to ask for permission to, you know, do things like hang up uh, pictures and that sort of stuff. So I have a few uh, art collections that I've picked up from my Disney parks visits over the years that I'd really love to finally uh, hang up and display. Um, but yeah, it's all in all, uh, looking back on the year, it's um, definitely had its challenges. It's definitely been a year of growth both personally spiritually and emotionally and it's it's kind of funny though um i spent january the whole time you know of traveling around in january thinking this would be my year i'm gonna do this i'm gonna do this and well none of that really happened i've seen the lord's hand in it all guiding me um through each challenge and around each obstacle but uh yeah he's definitely brought people in my life that have just been a wonder to get to know my team at work and others that i work with are just wonderful people and people i genuinely care about and genuinely care about me too and the best thing is they're all super encouraging Every one of them is just, yeah, super encouraging. Apart from uh, one or two people, well, more than, so let's say just a handful of people last year, a definite <laughs> reversal of the uh, working culture from last year. But at the same time, as, as, yeah, as I was telling someone the other week who I was talking to, who'd worked in the parks as well, 
I think it's, yeah, more of the environment than a lot of the people that I miss from working at Disney. Such a surreal space to be in, working in a theme park. Um, and of course, the people I'm still in contact with. I love dearly, and I can't wait to see them again soon. Uh, but for now, uh, mostly, I have to set my sights on where I am, not where I've been or where I'm going, or where I want to go, I should say, as that will all be worked out not by me, but <laughs> by him. It'll be all God's plan, because yeah, I may have my own plans, but they don't mean a thing if they're not God's plan. And so now, for my family, friends, and voyeurs, and also randoms who just happen to pop by my channel, um, this is a see you later. I'll post my current weight here, just up here. So this is how much I weigh now. Uh, um, and hopefully when you all see it again, it'll be a little lower. It's not something that I'm now focusing on too much. I'm just wanting to be happy and healthy and just, you know, having some accountability too is a great motivator. So that's, that's why I've, I've, I, I put that there. Hopefully this month is going to be a month of growth not physically but yeah mentally and further emotionally but yeah thanks for watching y'all and um i'll see you on the next one or a vlog <laughs>